in today's video, I'm going to show you how to check some tire tread. So let's get to it. There's a lot of different types of tires. We've got regular car tires, like this one here on my Dart. This one's a little bit bigger. This is a 17 inch rim on the back and a 15 on the front. So the tires are a little bit bigger on this one. And then my truck tires have even thicker tread as you can see here. Come around in my backyard, you can see that I've got more tires than I really know what to do with. I have so many tires laying around is because they're great to store engines on. Just if you're working on and then you gotta put another one up on a stand and take the other one down and have somewhere to store. They're great because they provide enough cushion that it won't break anything to set them on. So a good rule of thumb to check your tire tread to see if it's any good or not is to take a penny like this and between the top of the penny and between the top of the penny and the hairline of Lincoln that is going to be your mark that you're going to shoot for. So I'm going to bring you in down here and I'm going to show you how to exactly measure for that. You're going to take your penny and you're going to insert it into the tread and as you can see here the line actually goes onto his forehead so we know that this tread is good and you want to check on all sides of the tire you want to check on this side on this side and in the middle as well now if you have too much wear in the middle then you'll know that the tire is over inflated that means you have too much air in the tire if you have wear on both sides then you'll know that the tire is under inflated if you have wear on one side or the other then you need to go and get your alignment checked because what's going on is the tire is dragging to one side or the other causing more wear on the tire now they do sell better tools than just a regular penny but I found that to be the most easiest way to check your tire tread without having to go out to a store and buy something. If you like what you saw here today, go ahead and stick around. I'm going to be going into more in-depth videos on how to build engines and work on transmissions and take transmissions completely apart. So this is just kind of to get things started and moving. Also, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. That's what keeps this channel going. That's what helps me get sponsors and bring more stuff to the videos for you guys. So, see you next time.